Sis guy, he a vision. Free fuck, Mistral. Free fuck, Mistral. All right. Um, Mr. Stevens, you can take it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take our comfort break at this point in time. We'll be back in 10 minutes. We're in recess. Free fuck, Mistral. Free fuck, Mistral. Yeah, that might have been the highlight of the day. But Brian still was in there really cooking with it, man. Was there a time that you were mad at Mr. Williams for the content of his song? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen why. Because I knew that he was teasing me. Tell them. Tell them what you mean by that. He made a... Uh... A song, and he referred to me as Robin Women. Um, at that time, uh, the whole neighborhood was poking fun at me for uh, being accused of robbing women. Because they knew that, so even putting that in the song, knowing that it was, it was false. Were you also mad at him because you believed in other lyrics? He was um, describing things that you did, but taking credit for it. Yeah. And why did that bother you? You're not out of jail. As a generalization, that's something I'll stand the question as to form, Mr. S um, Steele. You can rephrase it. Mr. Stevens, why did it bother you? Why were you mad at Mr. Williams? for using lyrics about your life as if he did. An objection as to what lyrics, just specificity. I understand this to problem. It could be any, did you ever get mad at Mr. Williams because he was taking credit for things that you know you did in his lyrics? I felt the way. I couldn't. I apologize. I felt a certain type of way. I, I had a feeling about it. Okay. Hey, you're Tell you're going to have to as to my response that you don't know. Oh, I'll, stand, I'll stand. Just rephrase or redirect him or refocus him, I should say, Mr. Steele. In, instead of saying you felt a certain type of way, can you be more specific with that, Mr. Stevens? Why you were mad at Mr. Williams? Um, well, I did... I, I, yeah, I said I felt a, a certain type of way. I really can't put, um, say probably jealousy. I felt, yeah, probably jealousy because, um, I knew it was something I could have been rapping about and potentially making money of it. Okay. Talked about Jeffrey wearing tight jeans. Do you know, don't speculate, do you know whether Jeffrey got any criticism? That means, did people um, go against him for wearing tight jeans, if you know? Yes. And what, tell us about that. What did people do? Um, you're aware. I'm, I'm aware that, uh, they was accusing him of being gay. Um, a homosexual? Yes. And a gang YSL, okay? Yeah. You testified to that earlier in your testimony. Remember that? Right. All right. To join YSL, is there any type of pamphlet or Bible <clears throat> or rules that you're aware of if somebody wants to be YSL gang? No. Do you know whether... Um, in order to claim that they're part of YSL, somebody has to be beaten in. Do you know what beaten in means? Yeah. You learn that in juvenile detention center? Yeah. Juvenile jail? Yeah. Is there any, to your knowledge, is there any type of requirement that to become a member or an associate of YSL, you have to be beaten in? No, I know for a fact you don't have to be beaten in. How about to leave YSL, criminal, I'm just talking about criminal street gang, YSL, that you described earlier. 
Is there any type of beating out to, to get out? No. Any type of um, having being sex in, maybe a bad term, somebody having sexual relations with a number of people in order to become a member of YSL. Is that anything like that? No. How about paying money to enroll? Is there anything no. like that? No. How about paying money to get out of criminal street gang wise? I think like that. No. Is it true, from your understanding, your experience, and your testimony, that anybody can claim to be wise though? Yes. Do you have to know them and approve them? No. Do they owe anything to you? No. Do they have to come to you and say, I am uh, going to commit a crime and that on behalf of YSL, did anything like that happen? No. Jeffrey, you said, gave opportunities to you and others. Fair to say? Yes. And although he wouldn't give anyone money, would Jeffrey be free to open his house to others? Yes. And if they need a place to stay, could they come to his home? Yeah, if he knew you, yeah. If he knew you? Yeah. And how about vehicles? If somebody needed a vehicle, to your knowledge, would Jeffrey let people drive cars that he had? Yes. Tell the ladies and gentlemen, jury, if you know about how people can get cars if they know Jeffrey in his home. Um, can I speak from my experience? Yes. Um, um. A draw in his house with all the keys and he just I, I don't even ask. I just grab him. Okay. And what type of cars are we talking about? I know they change over time. Just give me an example. The type of cars we're talking Can about. Can I speak for my man? Sure. Um I I've driven a um Rolls Royce truck, um, Bentley truck. Um Jeep truck, yeah, I'm living a lot of them. And from your experience and knowledge, would Jeffrey rent cars for other people if they needed a car? Yeah. In his own name? Yeah. And did other people, including yourself, at times, with, were you able to rent a car? Did you have a credit card? No. But Jeffrey would do that for you and others? Yes. And would he ask any questions about where you would take in the, the Bentley Jeep, or, or did, was it just, here you go? I sometimes I didn't even know I was gone. Okay. Same with rental cars? Yeah. On October 2014, do you know whether Mr. Williams and Mr. Thomas were friends? Objection, Your Honor, as to... Vagueness, same objection. Let me see if he, let's see if he knows. I'll, 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 I'll consider the objection based on his next response. If you know. Yes. Were they friends? Yes. And Jeffrey took on the YSL as his record label to sing about. Is that true? Yeah. As Jeffrey's popularity grew, did a lot of people in the neighborhood start singing and saying we're YSL? Yes. Was there any rule to get into YSL? No. Could Jeffrey, to your knowledge, stop somebody from saying, I'm YSL? No. Could Jeffrey stop someone from putting a tattoo on their face, their arm, their... Objection, as a speculation and compound. I stand the question. Do you know whether Jeffrey could stop someone from putting a tattoo on their body? Objection, as a speculation. Still speculation, Mr. Steele, I stand the objection. Could he stop you from putting a tattoo on your body? No. And you said earlier that people were copying, this is my word, Jeffrey, I think your word was, it was tr he was trending or something like that. Do you remember that? Yes. And he was clearly now singing about YSL, right? Yeah. He was clearly um, wearing certain clothing a certain way, right? Yes. And he was clearly being followed by others, true? 
Yeah. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but there's going to be somebody who can make this conspiracy work. And I'll give you the foundation for it. It is very possible that Young Thug's people or somebody within a circle or whatever, whatever, or I don't know, bro. Let, let me put it this way. It's very possible that Young Thug and Tick set this whole play up in motion. Why, why do I say that, right? Well, this is supposed to be one of the state's main witnesses. Everything he laid out today, damn near showed YSL ain't really organized at all. So when you say you got to get beat in or punched on or get your cheeks ran in and stuff like that to get in or get out, bro, that doesn't exist. You can't pay money to get in there. You can't do any of that stuff. On top of that, bro, y'all remember how quick he was answering the questions before? This time, he's more acting like he was with the three days that he was on the stand for the prosecution. Did y'all notice his tonality start to shape up what he originally was doing and all that and everything like that? And then answering her fast as hell? That's a play right there. So they were able to essentially say this. And this is what people should come away with it. If you don't and you disagree, just let me know in the, in the, in the comments why you disagree with it. It seems as though they're painting Young Thug as just somebody who was around, seen the name YSL. He decided, I'm going to take this to a rap label. And while everybody else is like, we're going to take this to the streets. We're going to make this some street shit. That's how I took it. So with me thinking of it like that, bro, they are absolutely destroying a couple of things. Why was it important that Big Nug got brought up today? Well, because this is one of y'all main witnesses who says, bro, we just go in the house and we just take cars and we just drive. Young Thug get us cars because we ask for them. Young Thug will let us stay at his house if we know him. Isn't that part the reason for the guns and all that stuff and everything like that? Isn't that part the reason they're trying to say that Young Thug orchestrated the hit on Big Nut and that he bought the car just so they could go ahead and go do all that stuff? That helps weaken that case. Now, once again, the prosecution could absolutely come out and have another form of attack and all this and everything like that. But, bruh, Tick is absolutely helping Young Thug right now. And if you disagree, you disagree. That's perfectly fine. But in my eyes, on this channel here, I think he's this right here was masterful. This nigga Brian still was in God mode today. And it's funny because he saw spoken... You know, he a little zesty. He got a little sassiness to him and stuff like that. I'm not saying he's swinging for ding -a -ling or anything like that. But what I will say is that, bruh, what he's doing, because I'm one, I'm like, yo, still, bruh, you, you kind of taking long and all this stuff and everything like that. No, the first day, destroyed what the DA said. He did that. The second day, destroyed the YSL conspiracy part of it to say we are organized doing this stuff. And, bruh, I'm jealous. I was mad at the, and I told you on the last video, you don't, if you don't remember, go watch the last video. I said, hey, bro, Tick said that he ain't robbed no female. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, damn, should I make a video on that? Like, if he did it? Because I'm wondering, like, well, then why the hell would your thug say that? And Tick told you, oh, this nigga was making fun of me. The only place to come to when it come down to that YSL and YFN News. We're going to drop the YFN News on the Reloaded channel. We're not going to drop it on this channel. But um, y'all still here. Y'all want to know how to win the $1,000 1K giveaway every 100,000 subs. I might even switch it to 50,000 subs, bro. I think that might be the best thing. Not this one because we damn near like we already had 150K. So at the 200K mark, we're going to give away $1,000. And I think we're going to just do that every 50 to 100K after that. How do you basically win? Just subscribe. Make sure you like every video I can see. Make sure, well, I can't see that you like every video. But uh, make sure you comment on every video and share. That's it. That's simple. Like, comment, share. That's it. <laughs> That's literally all you got to do. I can see all the shares. So like, comment, share on every video. The more videos you like, the more you comment, the higher your chances are. And yes, we do go back and we go find out who was and who wasn't. We got down to like three finalists last time and we did a live stream. So, I'll catch y'all there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, y'all know how it go.
say, words couldn't hurt me. Videos, it's my name, they getting thirsty. Go ahead and put them in a the hearse. It's getting murky, this time I deserve this. I'm ready for whatever war said he been a matador.